Okay, everybody, the time has come where we are going to take Chewy, the co-pilot, into the plane on this episode of Taking Off. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of things that, uh, you know, I waited a long time. I've had Chewy now for nine months, and uh, he's 18 months old, so he's a year and a half. I waited to uh, make sure that I really got to know him. So here's some things. I got a professional hiking harness for him, something that I knew would fit really good and he couldn't get out of. And I've got extra large mutt muffs for his ears. So we're gonna try these out. Now one of the things I've done is I have had him wear these around the house and all day yesterday I had him wear the harness. So these are some of the things that I've done to get ready. Because at the end of the day, sure, I'm glad I can take my dog in the plane. We have to be safe. Uh, nothing else matters. So I'm not gonna have him running loose. You know, he's probably, I don't know, 120. We're about to get him weighed. 120, 130 pounds. Um, we count for him. Of course, a 210 can handle it. So uh, let's get flying. Wish that I could fly with you Way up in the sky so blue you're the sun, I'll be the moon, together Dreaming in the clouds so high Happy as the day goes by There will stay just you and I Forever Cause we're better when we're together Alright Chewie, up up! Up up! Good boy! Good boy! Okay, now I wish that I could ride with you on a bicycle built for two. Oh, the places we'd go to together. Cause we're better when we're together. There is nothing I won't do for you. Dreams are better when they're shared with two. There is nothing in the world that we can't do Cause we're better when we're together actually sits in the van this way. It's a Sunday afternoon in October. I don't know when I'm going to edit this, so we'll just have to see. Embassy traffic, Charlie, 262 Zulu is be entering a left downward for 22. I have a lot of things I edit out, so uh, if you don't see Something, some checklist or this or that. A lot of times it's because I just edit it out for time. He seems to be doing good back there. Your muffs are still covering his ears. Okay, hey, pre takeoff briefing is complete. Lights, camera, and action. All looks good. Let's do this. Dewey, let's punch it. Ain't nobody coming. Coach pass. Here's clear. Color me every shade of happy. Cause it's a good day. And it's good to be seven. with you. And I've got the sun is shining where we're walking. Cause okay. it's a good right. day. And, and it's five. good to be seven. with you. Oh, I All right, take off. Power is set. Airspeed is alive. There's 60. There's 70. 
We're almost to halfway. There's the halfway point. We're already up. Alright, gear coming up. Alright, the X. Clap to come up. Why? All right, that all looks good. We can go out for right. Maybe we could stay in NFL pressure right where we want it. All right, we're going to come back to our climb power. There we go. 30, good, 25, 50 on my RPM. There we go. All right, trim, better trim. Set. There we go. Fine, VY, we're at 112, so it's good. 100, 120. Flaps are up. Ox keel pump. Okay, line checklist. Fort Worth Center, Centurion 4620, Yankee. Call center, try again. Centurion 4620, Yankee, just off Lima Uniform Victor, crossing 5,000 for 7,500. Request flight following to Tango 67 in Fort Worth. It's coming a little stretch today off of Lamita. I think it's 460 Yankee Centurion. Uh, almost. It is a Centurion. 4620 Yankee. November 4620 Yankee Force. And it's squawk 2221. 2221. We're now uh, at 5003 for 7500. Three hotel, Victor. Thank you. 4620 Yankee, do you have your radar contacts? So six miles to the east of the Mesa Airport. Tell you 5,400. Understand a Centurion for fourth Meacham. Uh, it is a Centurion for Hicks, Tango 67, near at Meacham. Tango 67, copy 20 Yankee, thank you. Uh, Snyder out to the 015. 15, 20 Yankee. Okay, everyone, uh, between cameras overheating and everything else, we have now arrived to our cruise. So cruise checklist is complete, and I can now talk. All right. So Chewy is a Newfoundland, a lot of people ask. A Newfoundland is one of the giant breeds, considered a working dog. They have webbed feet and are known for rescuing swimmers, rescuing boats, pulling boats in by grabbing a rope and swimming at the shore, uh, tr and also drafting, pulling carts. Truly an amazing dog. I've, I've had some in the past. My uh, first Newfoundland was all black, and uh, the second one was black and white, which is referred to as a Landseer, uh, made famous by because a famous painter, Edwin Landseer, would paint the black and white kind, so that they were just called Landseers, and still are to this day. Both of those noose were about 180 pounds. Dewey here, I think, will be uh, on the lighter side of that, um, 180 is heavy for the breed, but uh, by the AKC, AKC standards. Uh, Chewy is a brown. Browns are more rare than the black and Lanciers, although I seem to see them a lot more lately. Um, Chewy is a rescue. Uh, a lot of times with the Newfoundlands, people don't realize what they're getting into. All the hair, the drool. Most Newfoundlands drool like crazy. I'm pretty fortunate. Chewy is actually not much of a drooler, especially for the breed. Very unusual. Uh, but he does have a lot of hair, and, and it gets left everywhere. Uh, plus, uh, Chewy has, now it could be puppy still, but he has a lot more energy than a lot of the other Newfoundlands. Most Newfoundlands just lay around all day long. They have a very low metabolism, and they actually don't eat that much food. So this is our first flight. Uh, actually, I lied. That's a, This is the second one. I did a small hop. Uh, with him first, um, and I didn't want to roll cameras because I wanted to focus on flying and having a dog, a big dog, in the plane. So uh, Chewy has, I commute back and forth to West Texas from Fort Worth 
in a minivan that I haul him in. So he's used to this kind of... ...for this kind of long haul situation. So he's doing exactly what he does in the minivan. So all that looks good back there. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to be safe. I waited until I had the butt muffs. Yeah, they still seem to be on. He seems to be wearing them. Also, the harness is something new for him. And uh, overall, it looks like he's a happy dog back there. Anyway, um, I appreciate you guys watching this, one of the first flights of uh, Chewy the co-pilot. And what I'm going to do is turn the cameras off. We've got about an hour before we get close to Fort Worth. I'll turn them back on for the landing. All right, pretty uneventful flight so far. Chewy has been awesome. Sitting back there. Uh, he hasn't really moved around too much, or tried to anyway. And uh, he's just been a good dog. Runway 3725, contact Fort Center 132.9 or 2. 3292 on We're getting close to approaching the DFW area. We'll be landing in about 23 minutes. Again, I'm going to edit the heck out of this. So we'll be on the ground actually in just a few minutes of video time. Well, I brought a towel and forgot to put it down back there. We'll work with you, International Airport Information Officer. I'm 2053 Zulu, and 0808, visibility was zero. Got clear, temperature 28, 2.7, altimeter 3012. Visual approaching new landing and departing runway 16. Airport notice. Okay, we have Oscar. All right, how's Chewy Camp doing? All right, looks like he's doing good. You ready to get home? I bet you are. Got some eye burgers going. You're a good boy. Regional approach, Centurion 4620, Yankee descending out of seven. We have Oscar at Meacham. Uh, November 4620, Yankee, regional approach. Did you have the weather, either Meacham or our line? I have Oscar at Meacham. Is your Yankee Roger maintained via fire cleared through the Bravo airspace at or below 6,500 advised airport in sight? Cleared through the Bravo at or below 6,500 will report airport in sight to the Yankee. Yeah, wagon zero, you go off. VFRD sent approved. Advise whenever you get to the airport. That's funny. Told him I had the weather at the airport, but then he wondered if I had the weather at the airport. I have the weather at the airport. Bye, Chewy. We have the weather. Regional approach, Centurion 4620 Yankee has Hicks in sight. 420 Yankee, Roger, no traffic is there between you and Hicks. There is a Cessna to I the south. Traffic. Hicks also inbound. Radar service permit. Uh, walk via bar. Change. Supervisor, we're going to see for you today. I appreciate the help, 20 Yankee. Have a bit of a crosswind landing. Winds 080 at 8 was what Meacham was reporting. So left crosswind on the 1-4 runway. Hicks traffic, Centurion 4620, Yankee Ray, right miles to the west. We're going to do a midfield crossover there and left downwind for 1-4, Hicks. I got somebody out there. I just saw the flash, too. I got somebody out there six miles, a little behind me. Yeah, hey, Hicks traffic, Skywagon, I'm the Blue Dog. It's eight to the south. Uh, inbound full stop, one four Hicks for three thousand three hundred. Eight to the south. That put him in Meacham. That is not that guy over there. All right, Chewy, you be a good boy. We're going to come in and land. Pattern altitude set. And our altitude hit. Bug. Heads on swivel. Chewy, help me find traffic. It's everywhere. There's 500 above. Level out here for a minute. Fix traffic. Centurion now three miles to the west, 2,300. Cross midfield into a left downwind for 1 4 Hicks. This traffic at the 9 7 November. Uh, just uh, south of Copeland at uh, 2,000 and down Hicks. Yeah, I have him in sight. All right, stroke and zero. Really go just on the west side. We're gonna follow the Centurion in for a full stop. We have him inside. All right. 
gear coming down. First notch. Six copy, Cadillac, not the Golf, it's 2200, crossing over the field, behind the center and full stop, 1-4 Hicks. Hicks traffic center and now over the field, entering left down 1-1-4 Hicks. A pattern altitude and we're in the pattern. Alright, so. Here is down. I got a green light and two in the mirror. One out here. Hicks traffic. Centurion left base. One four Hicks. And Hicks traffic. Scott Wagon on some board. Golf turning left down. One one four. Be full stop. I don't know about the guy coming in from Oakland. I hope he goes pattern looking. Hicks traffic, Centurion, final, 1-4, Hicks. All right, 108. All right, in the white. Got like an outside drill, guys. Clean left base, 1-4, before full stop. Now that crosswind. 90. Runway made. Eighty. Six traffic skyline times of road all turn final one four hits full stop. And it's seven seven nine seven oh ever talking in field at two thousand foot down wind one four full stop hicks. Hicks traffic centurions cleared one four hicks. Alright, Chewy. How was that? How was that? First Hicks landing for you. Are you doing good back there, buddy? Okay. That was uh Chewy's first landing at Hicks. Uh, thank you guys for coming along. Don't forget our sponsors, Flying Eyes. They make the great glasses and sunglasses at flyingeyesoptics.com. Use our code, taking off all caps, one word, to get 10% off. And also, Colton Mortgage. If you need a residential mortgage, go to coltontakingoff.com and Marshall Protective Services. Like all our sponsors, fly planes just like us. So let's support our aviation community and support them. That'd be great if you can. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, don't forget, check out uh, Chewy's Instagram. I post pictures and videos there at uh, Chewy the Co-Pilot. So anyway, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time on Taking Off.